the global market action, but how will these overnight queues impact our own markets? We have our research team joining in to tell you just that. What is the trade setup looking like? The stocks that are likely to be in the news and the action from the FNO space as well. You'll see that all of us are dressed up ahead of the Republic Day holiday. Uh, so, Sudarshan, let me come across to you first up. Uh, what are the market queues looking like today? Morning, Sonal. So, well, as you said, global queues continue to remain mixed. And on Wednesday, in a range-bound session, both S&P 500 and Nasdaq post gains for fifth straight day, while Dow Jones fell for second straight day. And the support to S&P 500 and Nasdaq came in for Netflix, which jumped 10% after posting strong earnings. On to our market, we managed to regain most of the losses seen in the previous day, and the sharp recovery was seen in the broader markets. Mid-cap index surged nearly 1,500 points from its intraday low. Nifty 2 saw last hour surge with support coming in from its two biggest heavy-weighted stocks, HDFC Bank and Reliance. But at, at institutional desk, FI selling continues. On Wednesday in the cash market, FI sold shares of uh, nearly rupees 7,000 crore, but it was largely offset by DIS. Buy figure for DIS was rupees 6,000 crore. For today, gift nifty is indicating a start with minor cuts. Talking about commodities, we saw an up move in oil. Both Brent and Namex moved 1% higher after US production data, which shows sharp decline in the production for the week ending January 19. Lastly, talking about queues to watch, on domestic front, we have earnings of ACC, AU Bank, GSW Steel, PNB, SBI Live, SBI Live and Vedanta. And on global front, there will be two data that we'll be look, uh, looking, uh, watching for. First, US GDP for December quarter. Estimate is for 2% growth. And second data would be initial jobless claims, where claims are seen rising by 200,000. Okay, all right. So those are some of the market cues we'll be watching out for. Thank you, Sudarshan, for that. But a long list that's awaiting us in terms of stocks to watch out for in today's trading session. Hormaz is joining us now. Hey, good morning. Morning, Sonal. I'll keep it short today. But uh -huh. uh, let's start off with Tata Steel. The operational performance was better than expectations during the quarter. The company returned to profitability as well, mostly led by the India business, where the better, uh, there were volumes were better, realizations were better as well. But the European business continues to struggle on expected lines because of lower realizations and high employee costs. Bajaj Auto results were also better than expectations. Uh, uh, the margins were aided by better realizations, cost management and operating leverage and the management is expecting the domestic industry to grow around 8 to 10 percent in FY25. Uh, Tech Mahindra's constant currency revenue growth was only 1 percent but it was better because the street was anticipating a 1 percent decline. So keep that on your radar. DLF will be reacting to results with its highest ever quarterly sales booking worth over 9,000 crore rupees and they said that they are on course to beat their full year guidance with nine month sales booking currently at 13,316 crore rupees. Also reacting to results today will be Container Corporation, Dalmia Bharat, Siat, Aarti Drugs, Chalet Hotels, Balkrishna Industries, Railtel and plenty of other broader market names that reported results. And lastly, Masgao Dock, which has signed an order with the Ministry of Defence for over 1,070 crore rupees for 14 fast-paced vehicles for the Indian Coast Guard. Back to you. Okay, all right. So that is all about the stocks and news. Finally, Manglam is joining in with all the cues from the FNO space. It's the monthly expiry as well. Hey, Manglam. Good morning. So it is uh, the Giant Series expiry today. And for the Nifty so far in Giant Series, we've seen a decline of nearly 325 points. And this comes on the back of a big 3,000 point move that we've seen in both November as well as December. Yesterday's move was interesting. We opened lower, then moved higher. Thereafter, we went down lower from those highs. And thereafter, we saw a big recovery in the second half of trade as well led both by Nifty as well as the Nifty Bank. Those charts come up for you intraday side by side. Importantly, uh, you have the Nifty Bank, which twice in yesterday's trading session reached the 200-day moving average, saw support from that, went all the way up to the 100-day moving average and saw some resistance there too. Cash market flows continue to, you know, uh, surprise on the negative side. The FI sold nearly 7,000 crores in the cash market with huge gross volumes as well. But that's all that they sold because they bought around 6,300 crores in index futures. They bought around 884 crores in index futures as well. And at the same time, they added close to around uh, 2.98 lakh index puts on the short side, telling you that the Nifty may have made a bottom just for the near term because the FI longs also over the last three trading sessions have increased from 46% to 48%. We saw some short covering in the 21,300 call yesterday, some writing at the 21,450 call. So important to see whether the Nifty goes ahead and crosses that 21,500 mark convincingly or not. But at the lower level, where the gift nifty is indicating uh, an opening, we may see some sort of uh, support near 21,350 odd. Z is the one stock that I'm watching out for because after a big move on the upside yesterday, the stock has entered FNO band once again. Let's see where that goes. 
Okay, all right. Thank you guys for joining us and prepping us up for this trading day ahead. Time for a short break now. When we return, we throw the spotlight on HDFC Bank and Z Entertainment. So stay tuned for all the details and analysis on the other side.